Marilyn Ann Butler has been a professional artist since 1974, while enjoying an active family life, raising a daughter and seven stepchildren. Trained in New York, her teacher was a student of Norman Rockwell's. She ran an art school in traditional realism for 10 years before the death of her husband moved her into new facets of her life and her art. My life mission is to magnify love, light, and laughter through the joyful expression of creativity in my life and in my work. Ms. Butler has been profiled in newspapers, magazines, and television, including the series The New Millennium. All of us are looking for a deeper meaning from life. It's a desire that comes from deep within our souls. I was asking myself how I could weave together my professional life with my spiritual life. And at the time I was asking that question, I was running my own art school, I was a professional artist, and yet my spiritual side of my life seemed very separate. And the answer that came to me came in a vision of seeing myself flying through space on a unicorn. And all at once, my hair and the unicorn's mane and tail turned into paintbrushes and started painting rainbows through space. And it was a very emotional experience. I didn't have the words for what it meant, but as far as how it felt, I knew it was an answer to my question, and I knew it was a good answer. I think that in, in symbols, you could say that your talents and your strengths are the warp in weaving. You know, when you string up your loom, you've got your structure there of the, the uh, threads, and that's the warp. And then the weft, the part that you weave through, is your life mission. And when you weave that shuttle back and forth through there, you create a, sort of a luminous fabric that's your life. And that's what we want to do. You can't really separate the talents and the life's mission. You weave them together into wholeness. Well, I think that finding out what we're most passionate about is the main job in, uh, in our lives. I'm Mark Thurston. I'm joined today by visionary artist and creativity workshop leader Marilyn Ann Butler. Marilyn, Ann, welcome to the program. Thanks. Now, Marilyn, Ann, you're a visionary artist. In fact, this tie I'm wearing today you created for me. Talk a little bit in your profession about how you integrate intuition and creativity. Well, when I get a commission, the first thing I do is meditate. And I meditate for ideas on color and design and symbols and textures. Uh, because most of my work is done in fiber, that are going to be specifically healing for the client. And uh, then I also use meditation and intuition for intuitive shopping, so I can find exactly the right fabric or right beads that I need for a specific piece. And also, I always try to use new techniques and new products in my work because it keeps me excited, and when I'm excited, then the creative flow is really flowing for me. So perhaps you even used your intuition tuning into me as you were creating this tie for today. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Now, I know you're a workshop leader, and even when you're with people for just a day or even a few hours, do you ever see that creativity is stimulating healing in people's lives? Definitely. In fact, that's one of the main focuses of my workshop is to help facilitate that in people. Recently, a cancer patient attended one of my workshops, and he had been experiencing incredible pain every night. In fact, it woke him up several times a night. And when he came to the workshop, we did a workshop on creativity through colors and symbols, and he allowed the creative force to flow through his body and reported the next day that he had had the first full night's sleep with no pain in months. And he attributed that to allowing the creative flow. So not everybody has such a dramatic event happen right away, but most participants really report that they get a wonderful um, way to integrate creativity more into their life and into their healing process. Now what role would intuition and creativity have to play in helping us build a new culture for a new millennium? Well, first of all, they balance the right and left brain. Where you use intuition and creativity, the more you have that brain integration. And this works on an individual level as well as on society. In society, we might call that the balance of the masculine and feminine. It brings a richer environment for all of us. Secondly, it helps us to apply creative problem solving. You know, when we get into stuck places and habitual thought processes, it's more difficult to come up with new ideas for old problems. So, cre uh, 
creativity and intuition help us move into new paradigms of creative problem solving. Thirdly, we give up victim consciousness. The more we begin to understand and accept responsibility for ourselves as creative beings, creating our lives, then the more we're willing to give up the victim consciousness and feeling of powerlessness. And last, we use creativity and intuition to inspire imagination. And Albert Einstein said that imagination is more important than knowledge. That's a powerful list. I'm not sure we can build a new <laughs> planetary culture without those points and without creativity. Uh, is, is there a characteristic that's right at the heart of a person who's working with intuition and creativity, sort of a single principle or characteristic about that person's life? I think definitely you'll find that someone who's real creative and working with that well is definitely joyful. Uh, there's a misconception about artists being th torturous, that the creative experience is torture, but I don't think that's true. I think it's the resistance to the creative flow that might be torturous or painful. And really, when an artist or any person is allowing that creativity to flow, they're happy and joyous, and it's a joyful experience. You're certainly a great example of that joyfulness that you're talking about. Thanks.